This hike starts out on the landing trail in the Musquash Conservation Area. And we're going to take the deer trails. We'll be up to the left, just ahead. And then the Porcupine Ridge. It's an unusual, uh, unusual day weather-wise in southern New Hampshire for February. It's 67 degrees. Uh, probably going to set a few records. As you can see, there's still a little bit of ice and snow left over. Probably going to be a muddy trip. I think that's why I've chosen to take some of the higher elevations on this usually pretty fairly flat trail system. I'm going to take the deer, upper deer trail here that's to the left. It's not, it's not really well marked. Uh, it's got this little pink tag, pink ribbon with it, tag on it here, but uh, you can see the trail's really well worn. So we'll have no trouble uh, trouble going up today. I don't see any ice or snow yet. These are the kind of, on this trail you'll see these, these hills that are kind of kind of steep but really short. If you want a little bit more of a challenge I'd recommend taking the deer trails. The white trail is also similar in the musquash. Generally flat, but with a few of these small rises. So we pretty quickly reach a junction of the lower deer and upper deer. For this loop, we're gonna stay on the upper deer. And we'll come back via the lower deer. It also doesn't take very long to reach the highest peak in the Musquash. As you can see, 412 feet. And what would a peak be without a cairn of stones piled up to indicate a summit? There you go. Oh, I smell a skunk. That's interesting. That could be interesting. Looks like we're going to hit a little bit of a flooded area here. I actually, actually don't remember the stream being here in the summer, but I don't recall if it is anyway. I could check, check my older videos. But in any case, we have to. We're going to continue here though to our left, which will take us up the Porcupine Ridge Trail. Around here. Yeah, this will work. This will work. Well, that little stream followed us down on the Porcupine Ridge Trail. So we have a loop here now. We have a choice of going either to the right or to the left to get the ridge. Let's um, let's go to the right. Loop around from the left. As you can see, there's a little bit of elevation on the deer trail. The uh, Porcupine Ridge Trail, which I'm on right now, not terribly difficult. So I would still consider these trails easy, uh, matching the uh, grading system for most trails in the area. Okay, well, we're coming out on. Uh, it's called Porcupine Ridge. Now we're going to continue the Porcupine Ridge loop back 
to the junction point with the Upper Deer Trail. Ah, look at this, a nice little, nice little jump for the trail bikers. Must be fun. Yeah, this part of the trail goes through pines. Interesting. Wow. Once in a while you run into one of these sections of the musquash. It's dominated by pine trees. running water here today. Most of the snow is melted as you can tell. Well we're back at the uh, junction here where the Porcupine Ridge Loop meets up with the Upper Deer Trail. Back to our little uh, temporary stream which is uh, Bubbling bias here. Just for fun, I think I'll go up the other side this time. That was a little deeper than I thought. Okay, so coming up to the junction here of the uh, Lower Deer Trail with the Upper Deer Trail. If you wanted to continue up a little ways here, where the camera's facing right now, it wouldn't be much of a walk to go to the cellar holes. I've uh, got those on another video if you're interested. So I'm going to take the uh, lower deer trail here back to the landing trail. And then on to the parking area to complete our walk today. Still on the lower deer trail here. I a little bit of an icy section. Probably would have been useful to put my spot biker spikes on, but uh, I have one with me, but I'm gonna brave it. Okay, so now coming off the lower deer trail here, we've reached the junction with the upper deer trail. And we're gonna continue on the upper deer trail. This is the uh, this is the way we came up. So we're going to take the Upper Deer Trail now to the Landing Trail and ultimately to our vehicle. Go. So for me, getting out and doing some hiking uh, is a great, great opportunity for me to just do some thinking and, you know, just be by myself and think things through. But I kind of get, make mistakes here. I followed that sign to set up a deer trail, but what, what that is, is the continuation of the deer trail, which we took already, which we'll do the loop again. And I really wanted to go this way. As you can see, there's no markings, but I mean, I knew that. It doesn't mean that, uh, I, you know, I should have missed it, but sometimes when you're uh, thinking about the things, you kind of miss your uh, turns. So I'm back on trail. And we're heading towards the landing trail. Well, we're on the last bit here of the Upper Deer Trail. About to merge with the Landing Trail again. I only mentioned that 20 times, right? Oh, we're almost there. And now we're arriving on the Landing Trail. Okay, well, that was a pretty fun hike. Short, but fun. And muddy. Thanks for watching.